a new project to the list the other day. Shit, we got a new Lex the Hexmaster. Episode 3, The Palace of Illusions. Finally, we got episode 3. I'm going to look it up. I think it's been over a year since this dude dropped episode 2, The Haunted Mansion. But this EP right here, regardless, was worth the wait. This shit is fire. Let's see. Episode 2, Haunted Mansion, September 2020. So yeah, a year and a year and some change. But we got that episode three, Palace of Illusions, and worth the wait, man. Probably the best one out of the three so far. You know, we got another part coming at some point. Don't know when. Hopefully sooner rather than later. You know, hopefully we don't have, we don't have to wait another year for an EP from Lex. But I fucked with episode one, Party Castle. I thought that shit was dope. Episode two, Haunted Mansion. Probably, you know, probably, yeah, my least favorite release from Lex the Hexmaster yet. I think there was like one song on there that I was really digging. Maybe two, but not really remember rememberable like Party Castle was. And now we got Palace of Illusions. This shit is fucking dope. People are complaining that most of this shit was released. Most of these songs were released before the EP. And I get it. I get it. It's a valid fucking complaint. I've complained about shit like that all the time. Still do. But that's why I don't listen to singles like that. Like, I'll listen to them a couple times. I just ain't taking the fucking chance that these songs ain't going to make a project at some point. You know, songs that were released before were Thriller, Real One, Closed Minds, and I think Highway of Heartbreak. So four out of the eight songs. And out of the eight, one's an intro. Or an, it, it's called Interlude. So really, we got three new songs. But yo, this shit... This shit is really good. I dig it. I didn't listen to the singles that much. The one I probably listened to the most was Thriller, but I still dig it. I don't skip it when I listen to the EP. Solid project from Lex the Hexmaster. He fucking killed it on here. He really did. Favorite songs on here for me would probably be Get Sippy minus Gibby's Verse and Closed Minds. Closed Minds is probably my number one track off this shit. Lex the Hexmaster and Jamie Madrox on some boom bap shit. That was fire that song is just super dope madrox fucking kills it on there lex brings the fucking heat i don't know why it took over a year to get this ep out but i don't know if he hit some writer's block or creative uh fucking stoppage blockage if you will but this shit is fire man i really dig this and uh yeah like I said, it. I got a, a ongoing list of possible albums to make the, you know, top twenty of twenty twenty one. I threw this on there, and I think it's worth listening to it. If you have ever fucked with Lex the Hexmaster at any point, or you know, or if you've fallen off with them, you got to check them out. You got to check this new shit out. I hope we get part four sooner rather than later. You know. Uh, the only real complaint I could say about this album is the mix isn't the best, but it isn't the worst I've heard from Lex. Uh, he always got Fritz mixing his shit. You know, there's a couple tracks on here that, you know, the vocals are a little low, I think. But other than that, and it's it's kind of, it's really minor. The mix ain't that bad, but Yeah. If I had to nitpick, that would probably be it. But this shit's banging from the production. Lex fucking killing it. I love the different styles that Lex does. Even though I've always screamed for him to do the boom bap shit strictly, which he got on here and which he does do. But, you know, he mixes in, you know, all all different kinds of styles. Just fucking kills it. Shadow King is definitely back with episode three, Palace of Illusions. Hopefully we get that episode four soon. You know, if you buy the hard copies, 
You know, it comes with pieces of a map. I got the three pieces right now waiting for that fourth episode to drop to get that fourth part of the map, you know? Then maybe we can get another full-length album from Lex the Hexmaster. Because this dude's one of the more slept-on, underrated artists in this scene and just on M&E. If you've never checked out Lex the Hexmaster, I'd say Palace of Illusions isn't a bad place to start. But if you want to check Lex the Hexmaster out, and if I were to recommend Lex the Hexmaster to anybody, I'd say start with the Lex the Hexmaster and the Unholy Trinity EP. I don't even know if that's up for digital, up on digitals. I'm going to look right now, but that Lex the Hexmaster and the Unholy Trinity EP is fire and unfortunately it is not but i know you can find that shit on youtube because i've listened to it on youtube that shit is fire i don't know why it's not available digitally maybe sample clearance issues or something but that ep is my favorite ep from him and then the shadow the shadow king mixtape is fire mr ugly one and two those mixtapes like his mixtapes are better than his albums Contact is a decent album. I dig it. Beyond Redemption, the mix on that album really hurt that album. That was when Magic Ninja was still trying to figure out like their engineering situation and like albums were just suffering because of bad mixes. And that album suffers from a bad mix. But there are some good songs on Beyond on Beyond uh Beyond Redemption. Lex has been pretty fucking consistent throughout his releases. So go peep that Palace of Illusions if you haven't checked it out yet. It is available digitally everywhere. It's dope, man. Front to back. It's only eight tracks, but no skippers on this shit. You know, if you're putting out an EP, I don't think there really should be any skippers on an EP, you know? <laughs> 